Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, thanks for joining us on today's video. 07 Shelby GT500, 12,000 mile car, man. I mean, this is uh, uh, driven just a couple thousand miles a year. Clearly, it was somebody's third, fourth, or fifth car, uh, especially from the condition of it, and especially from the nice touches of modifications that are done to it. I have to tell you, we've had several of these cars, and this is the best driving, best handling Shelby I've had, period, the end. This car is really, uh, uh, I don't want to say an extension, but you're so connected driving to this car, uh, you just point it and shoot it. The, the suspension's been uh, altered and changed. Uh, it's had some uh, uh, modifications under the hood for a little more power. It comes with a dyno sheet. It's all tasteful, it's all hidden, and uh, uh, it's the nice thing about it is it's just, you know, nothing is extreme. It's just the right amount, because the car is just wicked fast. Anyway, uh, you know, they start out uh, uh, in the 500 horsepower range, this one here. Dynoed at 522 horsepower at the rear wheels, so you're talking about uh, a little over 600 horsepower at the crankshaft if I uh, use the typical math for uh, the parastatic loss. So uh, 600 horsepower in any car is definitely going to go down the road, and in a modern car with big brakes and, uh, and a six-speed, it really rolls down. All right, so this here, traditional Wimbledon white, blue stripes, and for me, you know, we sell a lot of these cars in the 60s vintage models that look like this in this color, and they look great, they're very authentic, and Ford did a great job painting this car, uh, especially uh, adding the stripes onto it, and I think it looks really, really nice. So come on over here for a second, I just wanna show you some of this stuff here. This has uh, a full set of Nittos all the way around. Um, they're the factory 18 SVT wheels on here. Brembo brakes with the, uh, with the Brembo showing right there through the caliper. This has been lowered a little bit. You know, from the factory, these cars sit up a little high. I think they're required to do that. And there's usually this huge gap in the rear um, on all these Shelbys. And this one here has been lowered just enough to kind of get rid of that. Just enough in there so you still get some good ride and uh, you still get, to get some handling, but it lowers the car. And it, you know what, who cares if it handles better? It looks better. <laughs> All right, come on back here. Let's check out the back of the car for a second. This is nice. They did a great job. Now, you're talking about combining like a fresh look to a 60s vintage style that is, uh, is legendary. And, uh, you know, the Shelby letters here are so similar to the way they were back then, uh, but it's just a little bit of update, modernization to the things. And they did a good job on little stuff that you don't notice. And that's, for instance, like the stripes here. Stripes are stripes, fine, right? But they went ahead and they spent the time to cut out the third brake light to make sure you have this separate here, to cut around the tag here and how it goes all the way down. That's the one thing about these truck cars I love is that you get all that. Also, back here too, you get the big rear diffuser. This has an upgraded exhaust system on it. Sounds just enough, it doesn't drone, it doesn't uh, have any bad spots when you're, uh, when you're on the gas or, or just idling along at some RPMs where you just sometimes get that resonation. It's just, just perfect, all right? All right, so as we know, cars today are, uh, are rated a lot differently than they were in the past. And in this case here, you know, these are rated at 500 horsepower. And this is a real 500 horsepower. And probably back then it would have been rated at 700 horsepower. So these are the real deal. But what I wanted to show you is a couple cool things. For instance, like this here. The whole block is aluminum. The heads are aluminum. And right here is the signature of the engine builder. He guarantees that this car here will make 500 horsepower. It has the upgraded steed of pulley on it right here for a little more boost. And then you have uh, the cold air filter, which is getting nice fresh cold air from right down inside here. When the hood is closed, this is all blocked off. And you're getting that cold air instead of taking hot air from in here. All right, we talked about the upgraded exhaust, which you can't see, but this K&N nice smooth filter here. Uh, clearly, it doesn't matter if you bolt on all this stuff and it doesn't work together. You know, people say, you know, they look at these catalogs and say, well, if I buy this piece, I get seven horsepower. If I buy this piece, I get 12. If I buy this piece, I get 14. They buy all these pieces thinking they're gonna get like 400 extra horsepower. It doesn't really work like that. You know, it works like, you know, this might get seven horsepower. It's really probably 1.2. And in this case here, it didn't matter what uh, all the claims were. This is dynoed at the rear wheels and it comes with a dyno sheet and it shows how nice and smooth it is. And it shows you a real 522 horsepower at the rear wheel. So you knowing that everything right here is working really well together. Does it lay it down? Absolutely. Does the car handle really well? Absolutely. But let's get inside the car for a second and see some of the details in there because that's where you're going to spend some time. Here's a whole other thing about combining old with new. Like for instance, like this seat pattern here would have been a lot of uh, what you got in the 60s on these cars. Embossed with uh, the Cobra, the decal there. Carol Shelby's signature here. This one actually happens to have Carol Shelby's real signature there. That's what I'm told. That's what it looks like. I don't know if it's been clear coated or not. 
but uh, it looks to be. Then you go ahead and let's say, okay, cool, that was all nice, but today's modern cars are fantastic, and you're right. These seats right here, they're power seats, they're really, really nice, and you get some great features. Like, you can change the colors of the gauges on the dash. This has a shift indicator light. Uh, uh, I set it for 5,800 RPM, so at least you'd have a little bit of room for over rev, just in case, uh, uh, you know, it's climbing fast. You can have red gauges, blue gauges. You, have, so you can have one side red, one side blue. Um, and it's really nice. This has a Shaker 1000 audio system. It has six discs in dash. Also has an MP3 player. It has auxiliary. If I'm not mistaken, in this car here, I thought it had, uh, comes with the books. Right here, owner's manual, keys, power outputs, and there's an auxiliary jack right inside here. I believe that's for uh, the iPod connector, okay? Um, great driving lights, the power seats, power locks, power windows, keyless entry. So you're getting a lot of the luxury features, but you're also getting a lot of great, great power. Six-speed shifter, and there's little stuff like this, like the red stitching in some of the places around the car. Uh, looks really nice. So I don't know. I think they did a great job on this car. And you get some modern conveniences with that old school look, and uh, it's hard to beat it. Oh, the Shaker 1000. Listen. All right, how about we start it for you so you can hear what it sounds like. Listen to that, man. Just enough, that initial rev, to let you know there's a little something different under the hood and that the exhaust is upgraded just a little bit. Okay, let's take a peek in the trunk for a minute. All right, so I left uh, the uh, items that it came with here. This is the SCT tuner, uh, so you can go ahead and uh, uh, tune the car however you want. You can put it back to stock if you had to go back to the dealer or whatever. Um, and there's a couple of different maps in there. Like I said, it's not set to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, maximum. Um, it's got the subwoofer right here. Check this thing out. That's a big factory subwoofer, custom built for uh, the Mustangs. That's really nice, okay? And I'll put this all, I'll put the tuner back in there for you. And this is the original uh, pulley for the front of the supercharger. That's how we get some of the extra power by putting the Steeda pulley on there. And how about the Steeda pulley looks really nice. This is the ugliest freaking pulley for the most important part of the car, which is a supercharger I've ever seen. Hats off to Steeda for doing a good job. All right, so actually you have a little bit of room in here, believe it or not. And uh, you know, you can actually go somewhere with some soft bags, have some fun in the car, and uh, enjoy your weekend. You know, this is the kind of car you want to buy. This is, uh, this is one of those cars where you know it was somebody's you know, third, fourth, or fifth car. It was their baby. It has uh, a special SCT tuner for go ahead and tuning the mapping on the car if you want, depending on how much power you want. This isn't set at maximum power. This is set at great drivable power, and it still makes 600 horsepower. Um, you know, we talked about uh, the owner's manual, the window sticker, uh, two sets of keys. Like, that's, you know, it doesn't sound like a big deal to you, but not every car comes like that because people get busy in their lives, they forget. This person here, you know, had all the things, they gave the stuff back, they put on the right, you know, Steeda control arms to lower the car just enough instead of like cutting the springs or heating it like we would do here and butcher a car. So uh, they did it the right way and hopefully, uh, hopefully you can find a way too to, uh, to get in this car and drive this car the way it's meant to be driven and that's, uh, and that's out on the open road and it just feels so good when you drive you're so connected to it. Anyway, 301-816-1000, uh, call us, 07 Shelby GT500, should be called the GT600, but uh, uh, call us and we'll tell you all about it.